Greetings and welcome back everyone to Robocraft and of course to the HodgePodge, which has gone through a bit of a change, you may have noticed. And yes, I'm I'm rolling with tier 5 skis. Honestly, I have no idea if this is a good good plan or not, or whether it would just be better to try and smooth out the bottom of the the uh, the underbelly of the bot, if you like, and just glide along the blocks. There is one advantage to using skis, they're silent. Whereas just dragging the bottom of your bot along the ground makes an awful lot of noise, quite painfully uh, large amounts of noise, honestly. Now, I've stripped away the wheels. We've gone from having eight wheels in total to having a grand total of five skis, one steering ski and four regular skis. Now, these are just regular level skis. Uh, th there are no different tiers of skis. If we uh, have a look at the skis themselves, here they are. The uh, skis over here, now they've got a reasonable, uh, I, I believe they're the best things to put on the bottom of your bot to just glide over the ground, but I can't say that for certain. However, you may also have noticed some other mysterious blocks have appeared. That is right, Robo Curves has landed a bit of a small patch, mostly focused on a couple of bug fixes and curved cubes. This is mind-blowing in a way just this tiny little aesthetic thing has changed everything now the key things to note here is that by and large they are the same they have slightly less health it seems very slightly less health than their um oh actually no that's an inner so let me compare that 464 to 464. No, actually, they have exactly the same amount of health. Of course, it's not going to be the same as a block, as a single cube, because these are effectively curves. You can't have a curve on a cube. You would have a sphere, and it would have no obvious place to connect. So you've got inners, prisms, and tetras that are rounded. Oh, the possibilities for creativity here are nearly endless. Um, but by and large, they are exactly the same. They have the, the same rankings and everything so that you're not going to have to sacrifice um efficiency and uh the armor on your bot for the sake of making it look good in a way it's almost overwhelming the amount of of choice you now have available but as you can see you have to unlock everything so let's go ahead and do that on camera let's get all of these unlocked it's gonna take me a little while ah uh, good times in fact, what I'll do is I'll just go up along this side, and then I can branch back across to get all of the others. Ah, oh, this is going to be good. However, as I was saying, this it's almost overwhelming. The amount of places that you can use curved blocks instead of the, the harsh edged blocks, staggering. So much so, it's like, well, where do I go from here? I don't know what to do. Oh, yes, they're unlocked with tier 10, not um, TX. That's, that's a bit of a shame, because that would have been much more convenient for me. Oh well. But we've got all of the tier 9s. We do not have any of the tier 10s. So unfortunately, we're not going to be adjusting the hodgepodge with all of these awesome parts just yet. But whilst I'm going through this, let me go over some of the uh, bugs that have been added in. Huge lag spikes when shooting protonium crystals have been largely um, removed, or rather heavily optimized, as the wording goes in the patch notes. Fix the major bug causing robo controls to go wrong, or robots to start spinning at infinitum, forcing a user to leave battle. I imagine they meant ad infinitum, or infinitely fast, or something along those lines. I doubt infinity was really the word they should have been using there, but nevertheless, spin really, really fast, to the point that there was really no other option but to leave. Apparently that has now been fixed. They've also fixed an exploit when using multiple clients logged in using a single username. I'm not sure what that exploit is, but uh, apparently that has now been addressed. The Scorpion robot now has rails as opposed to plasma cannons. We'll go and have a quick look at that. Where are you, Scorpion? Uh, much further along. There we go. So the Scorpion is now a railbot. That's quite nice. Do they Have they put any of the... Um Curved cubes on any of the, these bots? No, they haven't. That's a shame. Some of them really look like they, they could actually do with that, honestly. Uh, finally, the last bug they fixed was a bug where the UI would break when you tried to platoon as a megabot and then looked at your friends list. Fair enough. I haven't played a megabot in a while. And probably won't for a while, unfortunately. Now then, let's uh, get back to the hodgepodge. 
Now, as you can see, I've managed to fit on a couple of extra shields. I've even <laughs> fit on more or less superfluous thrusters down there. Unfortunately, I doubt they're ever going to do very much. We've also added reverse thrusters because without wheels, we have no actual locomotion. Um, so to go backwards, uh, you need a thruster facing backwards. You, you can't you can't just reverse the skis, provide no uh, momentum themselves. I am starting to be debate whether we should keep this on the hodgepodge. I, I want to for now. But I'm thinking, the hodgepodge is starting to gravitate. I, I'm really starting to feel the pull. The hodgepodge, I think, wants to become a tier 10 version of the, of the Skyplow. And I'm not sure that I have any issue with this. In fact, I'm fairly certain I think this is an awesome idea. We're going to have to see. But, wow, if, if we could make another Skyplow in tier 10, that would just be a, a license to print money or robo points, as the case may be. But, I think that's enough uh, talking about the patch. Again, it was a fairly small one. The main thing it added were these blocks. And I will probably show those off in another episode where I'm just changing up some of my builds to include them where it makes sense to do so. Ooh, all of the carbon cubes now have this. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Hmm, these are effectively T10s. So, I might not actually have to unlock these tier tents, though I do like the sort of reddish-black tints there. But, uh, we'll have to see how that goes. But for now, we're going to jump into a battle and see how the hodgepodge does. I've already tested it. It's as uh, stable as I can, I can make it. It's not amazingly stable, and I've, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned at how it's going to handle when it gets really fast with lots of overclock levels. But, uh, we're going to discover that together. And welcome back. Okay, that took a little while for us to get into a battle. It does seem that uh, in Tier 10 there is a surprising lack of players at the moment. We have got asymmetrical teams again. Oh my lord, the enemy team have two medics. A scout. Hmm, that's interesting. And four SMGs. Uh, current, current, mm, currently we, we appear to have three SMGs and a medic. Uh... This may not go well for us, I think, possibly. Oh, no, there we are. We've got a, a plasma. Our team is slowly lo loading in. Probably just as well, considering the enemy team only have a uh, have one of the slots used up by a scout. I'm not really sure what use that will be for the, en uh, the enemy, but I hope they do well with what they've got. Let's quickly strip this down. There we go. Are you good on that side? Possibly not. I'll come around to help. I turn slowly when I'm not moving, it seems. And just barrel up through the bottom there. There we go. Right, shall we move on to the other one? No, no. Let's let's leave the enemy to grab that one. It's too close to them. It's, it would be a risky move, and it could pay off if we were particularly good. But uh, I don't fancy that I am. Especially using an untested bot like this. Uh, right, let's get down here, help you guys out if we can, let's not take the corners too sharply, otherwise we run the risk of being split up. There we go. Right, we've got quite a few enemies coming this way. Let's get down there and get involved in this fight. That is the scout, it seems. Hello. Do you really have no weapons at all? I... I'm not sure what to make of it, honestly. I'm mostly a little bit concerned that it's someone trolling the enemy team, and I don't think that's particularly fun. Alright, let's try and strip you guys of your components whilst you're focusing on healing each other. Keep you out of the sky, take you out of the sky if we can as well. There we go. This is an interesting setup they have, honestly. Let's try and burrow through to the pilot seat. We've lost a, a bit of our bot here, but... Uh, Still not doing too badly. Oh, if we could just get that little spine. It's almost unprotected. It's like a... Oh, actually, it's a very long, thick plate. Never mind, then. I was thinking that it might be possible just to disconnect something and strip the entire bot apart, but uh, apparently not. All right, we're not doing too badly. Hello there again. Oh, someone up there. Let's try and get rid of your copter blades, shall we? Hello. You know what? I'm not going to attack you. I, I have no intention of killing you. You're, you're too too weak. It, it, there's no nothing sporting in taking down an opponent like that. I'm moving on. 
Honor intact, mostly. As intact as it ever is. Right. Uh, let's go through here. If we can get down below, we've lost quite a lot. Half of my guns, unfortunately. And I've drifted a little bit more than I intended. Ah, oh, there we are. Perfect. If I can just burrow up along there, then I don't need to go through the outer shell, which is going to be significantly faster for us. There we go. A little bit more damage needs to be done. If we can just hit that one cube all the way up there, I'm not sure that enough of my shots are getting through, unfortunately, which is a shame. I'm going to have to burrow up the normal way then. Alright, okay. Well, let's uh, speed forward a little bit and just burrow through. I'll do this slowly, given how many uh, guns I've lost, which is a bit annoying. Actually, it'll be faster if I work on this side. What I can do this way is prepare this for someone else to come along and capture quickly. Since there'll be far less connected blocks for them to destroy, they should be able to turn its allegiance with only a couple of shots. Oh dear, our plutonium reactor is under attack, really? It's a bit unfortunate. Alright, okay, I'm basically burrowing through the wrong side now. Are you attacking that poor... Ah, oh, you scallywag you. Why would you do this? You just want to explore. See the world. It's all you ever wanted. You wretched person, you. Right, let's try and get up here. Or oh, he is genuinely just trying to troll the enemy team, which is really unfortunate if that is the case. I wouldn't, wouldn't be happy with that at all. Well, hello. How about we uh, try to remove your copter blades and just... Uh, I've lost all my guns. Well, time for me to leave then, if I can. Uh, go, go, go. Nope. Oh, well. Never mind. I've done a reasonable amount of structural damage to that. It should be fairly easy to break that later on. And I'm at uh, overclock level 7, which isn't too bad. Oh, really? Someone dropped Odyssey. One of our level sixes, so not uh, someone who hasn't been active in the fight up to now. That is a shame. Did the enemy lost anyone? Uh, they may have, actually. RLG, perhaps, has gone from them. Hello there. Enjoying your time? See if we can't get... Ooh, they've just leveled up. That's not good for us. Hello. Let's try not to flip up. Okay, it looks like we're going around. They've got a medic around here, probably. Hello over there. Let's try and take you down if we can. A few hits on you. And another SMG over there. Try and strip your guns off if we can. We have not done nearly enough. Ooh, actually we have. Very well. I approve. Now, let's see what we can do over here. You're actually going to be incredibly hard for me to take out of the sky because most of your copter blades are protected. Well done, you. Now I've learned that lesson, I won't bother trying next time. Uh, <laughs> just dancing on the floor. Okay. Oh, it's a very nice design, actually. As long as it's facing forward, then its rotor blades are protected, but not at all from the rear. Worth bearing in mind, that one. Okay, let's get back out there. You know what? I'm going to go for the, the top tower now, since it looks like everyone is engaged in a fight over there. I may be able to get to the tower. Oh, if I don't flip up. Ah, I was worried this would happen once I got a little bit faster. Ah, scallywags. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking definitely getting at least four or five um, rudders on this would be a big help. Now, am I going to flip up this time? No. Oh, yes. Possibly. Yes, maybe. Ah, oh, really? Hodgepodge. Hodgepodge, you're being a bit of a scallywag. Looks like my uh, jammers are working overtime at the moment. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I've connected to someone else's radar. I can see someone over there. Hello. Try and take you down, shall we? I've defeated you before, so there's no reason why I won't be able to do so again. But I need to take those guns off. There we go. Fantastic. Right, let's try and slow down. Right there. Right there. There is good. Hold this position. Let's quickly cut a path through all of this whilst we've got all of our guns. Or well, most of our guns. There we go. Come on, let's be a little bit more accurate now. 
And that's the last one we need to disconnect. There we go. Okay, that side's been completely disconnected. Oh, that's right. Just duck around here. Because they're not easily going to be able to hit me then. And whilst I'm here, quickly strip this down. Ignore the enemies. Just try and take this off them if I can. They'll be able to take it back, of course. Okay, most of my gun's gone. Damn it, I shouldn't have ignored you. Oh, Scallywax. Okay, well, another tower on the brink of being destroyed. So the north, the two towers near this to them are very close to being ready to, to be taken out. Ah, those damn TX SMGs. Okay, three more seconds and I'm back in the fight. We'll go and try and capture the tower next to our base first. Take that back for us. There we go. Oh, the turning is very hard here. Because I'm always at risk of flipping. Sweep through here, ping you if we can. Hello. Right, there we go. Overshot it by a very large margin, but uh, it looks like our SMGs are fast enough at this point to be able to quickly strip a tower. As long as I've got all of them firing at the same point. There we go. Have I... No, I've still got all my SMGs for a moment there. It felt like I was firing slower. Okay, now I've got to try and uh, turn back around. That'll do. And pause around there. Okay, I've hooked up to someone else's radar again. Now, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to hit quite a few of their towers as I go past. And of course, drifting. One problem with skis. No way to break. And there we go. Okay. Okay, let's move out. They are taking one of our other towers, but I should be able to take two of them fairly quickly from, the, from uh, them. Sweep back through here, slow right down. There we go. And I've just jammed someone, so they're nearby. Okay, we haven't... Oh, dear. Need to take you out if we can. There we are. One rotor blade, go for the other. Oh, no! Two of them! Scallywags! Not as quickly as I thought I'd be able to. Though that one is now just basically hanging on its last life. Oh, we're not doing too well at the moment. Despite all my uh, planning, I should probably roll with the rest of the team instead of going off on my own. I'm not maneuverable enough at the moment. As much as I'm faster, I've sacrificed a lot of maneuverability with this bot. Uh, okay, let's swing around, move with the group. Try and get a couple of kills. We can easily hit these guys from up here. Uh, let's take you down if we can. See if we can't get a couple of those rotor blades. Yes, I think a few of them just got hit. Never mind. We've got an enemy over here that maybe I can deal with. Even though I just said I'll roll with the rest of the group. Okay, it's you. Very well. We've had a fight a few times before, you and I. You've got much bigger guns than I do. Don't like it too much. But you're also flimsily built. So, as long as I can just get in there and attack, I should be able to wipe you out. Hmm. Looks like they've got someone coming back to their base for repairs. Alright, we should be able to just take this off them. Which will... Oh, no, 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 bad time! Hodgepodge, hodgepodge! I need you best behaviour right now, hodgepodge. Come on now. Don't be a dick. I th think we have these ones to take out. No, he's coming back around. I need to be ready to attack straight away. Okay, phew. Present the shield. Go for the weapons. One down. Two down. Go for the middle of the bot if I can. Nope. I think I'm going to go down. Oh dear. He's just got to level up. And he's taken off all of my weapons. Well, scallywags. What happened to our medic? Ah, uh, asymmetrical teams. No! Scallywags! You and your medicings! You've got two! We've got none! Urgh. This is proving a difficult war. Uh, especially when I do that every time! As soon as I do anything, I flip. Flip again, please. No? 
You're happy now to stay up a certain way. You scallywag. Get them all pinged. Are any of my allies with us? Not too many. Let's try and take you out of the sky if we can. I don't think I've done enough. Let's go for you instead. Might be able to do enough. Are you going down? I wonder. Hello. Gonna need a bit of help here. Because I have lost all my weapons again. And I can barely move. Uh, wow. Well, this is embarrassing. I'll ping you, I guess. There we are, I've got backup! Ha-ha! Right, as soon as I can, respawn. Five seconds. Okay. Nope, one. And go! Try and deny them the clock cycles from killing me. Because there was nothing I could do there. Without a medic on our team, I was grounded in some way. There was really not a lot I could do. Oh, I like that bot. Made of very light cubes. Lots of thrust. Very nice indeed, actually. Right. This is... Honestly, I'm surprised the enemy haven't pushed. They've had a distinct advantage for a long time. A very long time, it feels like. And we're back. This time I am actually going to move with the pack. Oh, uh, hello. No! Scalawax. We need that fusion shield back. You guys have got it. It's fine. We're good. Oh, bless that little scout. Still moving around. Still scouting. Try and take out their medics as soon as we can. You as well, if we can. Do a lot of damage from a distance. That is, after all, one of the advantages to being an SMG is I can shoot a very long way. Don't do a lot of damage. It's not like I'm, we've got a rail here, but we're relatively accurate as long as we burst fire. We've got someone creeping up around us right now. It's not so great. You know what? Actually, that is a good bump there because I kind of want to go this way. Ooh, actually, oh, it's you again. You're going to take off all my guns again, aren't you? Like you always do. No, you're going to go over me this time. I approve of that. I approve greatly. There we are. Take that. Scallywag. Ah, no, I've lost all my turning thrusters on one side. Ah! Too much spin. Not enough control. Right, hello. Try to take you back down again, if we can. That's one. Go for the rear rotor. Or the top one, if we can. No, I don't think we can. Go for you as well. No. Nope. Who am I being shot by? Is it is just those guys. Very well. Try and take you down if we can. I am going down myself. I've lost all turning now except for my tiny little turning ski and one thrust. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, they are going to win this eventually, because all I can do now is move in circles. If I can get behind a wall, that will be grand, because then I could uh, wait for a little bit and respawn. But I doubt I'm going to get that opportunity. Nope. Drat. Well done, my team, though. Very well done. I, I am going down. The best I can do at this point is just ping people. No, oh, I'm gone. Okay, hodgepodge, your speed has increased, as I've mentioned before, but the agility, the maneuverability, hmm, a drastic decrease. I was better with wheels, I think. Until I get rudders on it and I can fly, at that point the agility is going to take a staggering increase, but for now, not good. Oh, I like what the little scout is doing, just trying to push people out of the way. Well done, you. Ah, oh, scout wars. Glorious. Keep it up. Oh no! Alright, let's go. Ooh, okay. Let's make a move. We need to try and get down there and take on that uh, copter, I think. 
are a fair bit of speed, but dangerous amounts of it sometimes. Ooh, this is a good place. If we can hold this position, attack that guy. From about here? No, he's on the move. Okay, fair enough. Let's go for this tower then. Ooh. Hodgepodge. As, as much as I like the idea of you being a ski bot right now. And as fitting as it is, being on a snow map. Uh, I am regretting my decision. Hello! Ha-ha! Well done, my allies. We slew them. Attack. Mercilessly. Come on, if we can take this, then we will have a huge advantage for a little while. And that side's all done. It's just this side that needs to be dug through. There we go! All towers. Oh, no, really? Come on. Come on. Okay, fine. We'll adjust. Right, now is our opportunity to win. I can't believe I'm level 13. Well, oh, actually, I can. Everyone on my team is level 13. We're just... Oh, no! <laughs> we almost did it. Almost. Hello. I would appreciate it if you wouldn't be here anymore. I doubt I'm going to get my wish. I think I have been stripped of all my guns. <sighs> you know what? I think I've, I've cottoned on to the reason why this battle is taking so long. It isn't that both teams are good. It's that both teams are equally bad. Well done over there, though. Very nice. I consider it risky attaching such a huge weapon to one block, but... You know what? I guess it's not so bad. No! We've lost many fusion towers. We had four, just for a second. And now it is gone. Oh dear. That is not good times for you. Well. It's 20 minutes in. <laughs> this gets to 30 minutes and the shields go down. I'm, I'm going to be, frankly, disgusted. You are quite possibly one of the best boss we have on the team. It all comes down to you. Hello. Think not. I think you need to stop. Like right now. And land. Where I can easily kill you. Thank you very much. I say easily. By that I mean slowly. Because I'm a terrible aim. There we go. They didn't catch that. That's good. Clock cycle de generator. Absolutely unnecessary for us right now. But we need to stop that right now because there's enough... Proto they've got 200% protonium... Uh, protonivity escalation right now. We cannot afford these guys to be left here. It's not like early game. They only need to get close enough and then just do enough damage for a little bit. Hello. Try and take you out as well. If we can get all of you, then we could just rush your base. Really? Have I grounded myself again? Oh, hodgepodge! Okay. When we get back to the mothership, you're going straight back to wheels. <sighs> well, you know, it's always worth it for science, if nothing else. But, damn it. Alright, let's just get down to their base. I think uh, all of their team except one is out of it right now. Uh, they were. Almost whole enemy team is down. That would have been a great attack if we'd been able to do it. Except that guy. Except all of the guys now. Right, attack, attack! Just go for the reactor! Care about nothing else. Disconnect parts of the reactor. That's the main goal right now. Strip reactor of crystals. Go for the rear part, since that's the part I'm facing right now. There we go. Oh, skip forward. We've got a huge protonivity escalation. There we are. Yes, it is. Haha! Okay, I'm... Uh, what? Stop medicking me, you scallywag! I don't need to be healed! I do now, thanks to you! Oh, you wretches! But, this looks like we might be able to pull this back. Uh, actually, no. Got one more big connection to do. Uh, oh, come on! Don't let them stop you! 
You've almost done it. One or two more connections. No. Why are you not attacking? Don't attack the players. Attack the crystal, the reactor. There we go. I suspect we are about to win. My lord, that, this has been a long battle. The team now can't afford to not defend this base, basically. Because if they were to ever leave it, someone would just pot shot it from miles away. Good game. That was not so bad. Well, actually, my contribution to the team was quite bad. Uh, hodgepodge, it was worth seeing what you could do on skis, but uh, either because I'm poor at controlling you when you're on skis, or because skis are just a terrible idea with you. Oh, that was, that was hard. 714,119 RP, though, and 144 tech points. We got 6 kills, 9 assists, 19 scouts, 7 spots. 645 protonium destroyed and 9,926 CPU destroyed. I suspect if we'd had our medic through that match, it wouldn't have been nearly as long as it ended up being. But the asymmetry in tier 9 battles was actually quite quite a problem, honestly. Um, and I'm thinking that as much as I've just spent a fair bit of time on the hodgepodge, and you know what? As much as I'm probably going to be taking you back down to wheels... I'm going to give you a, a new mark. You, you deserve it. You did win another battle, although it was hard. But uh, I'm thinking I might uh, go down into Tier 8 or Tier 9 for a little bit, where there seem to be more players available, and thus the teams are much better balanced. Because Tier 10 is honestly just struggling at the moment, really struggling. It could be the time of day that I, I play, but uh, I've actually recorded this video at a different time in order to try and test that theory, and it doesn't seem to have worked. Um, so perhaps, perhaps I need to do a couple more tests, but I'm, I am feeling that there's a bit of pain in Tier 10 at the moment. So, I expect we're going to be uh, playing around in Tier 8 or Tier 9 for the next couple of episodes at the very least. But I do hope you enjoyed this bit of an experiment with the hodgepodge and with skis, and I hope you'll be joining me for the next episodes. And on the plus side, if we do go down to Tier 8 or Tier 9, I have the ability to use curved cubes so yeah we'll see a little bit more artistry going on there but until next time we meet do take care